Hello everyone, I'm South African leader Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Führerreich, playing as, of course, South Africa. Last time, we decided to help ourselves by helping others. So, right now, we're pushing, or we will push soon enough, into Maklik to establish a, another front against the Soviet Union, because right now, Germany, they're doing okay, they're not doing great. Oh, can we see this? Oh, we can't see this! Yesterday, this was glitched where we couldn't see it, but today we can. We've lost 3,000 people. Germany's lost 1.7. The Soviets have lost 3.5. So that's actually not too bad. While the Germans have killed off 2.7 million Soviet boys. Uh, led by Bukharin. Interesting, interesting. They are on extensive conscription. They work as a republic. But uh, there was a comment yesterday saying that I should just use a console command to get the Russian Republic to go to war with the Soviet Union. Well, I'm not using console command. Well, I technically did. I just tabbed over and made and forced them to do kick in the Soviet door just so that this would be open. I mean, it doesn't make any sense why they're not in the war. Yet Japan is, and this Japanese puppet is. So, what is that? Allied Eastern Russian Commission. Oh, very nice. But I do have a cup of South African coffee here, which drugs drugs aren't good for you kids, but caffeine is not terrible. Just not good for you. Cool. And we need some oh infantry equipment and motorized. Oh yeah, that's not good. That is. But we got plenty of support equipment. Let's do that for now. We'll get some more later. Keep our artillery going very nicely. Uh, you are... You know what? We could throw some artillery on these guys. We don't have that many divisions that use this. And that looks pretty okay. You know what? We don't have infantry equipment. I'd make that 10 combat with, but whatever. We have garrisons, which look like they could be reshuffled around for cavalry. There you go. That's better. Way more suppression. We'll need less people for that. Look at that. So much nicer. Lesser infantry, we have already artillery, which is great. Actually, that mm, that probably used up more guns than... Well, that's okay, whatever. So right now, we're defending... Kind of as best as we can here in... Russia, or close to Russia. Let's do that. We want to help them out as much as we possibly can. Even though supply isn't great here. I still want logistic companies on our guys, which we'll try to get. But my clique is doing well. Or we will get there soon enough. And we... Ooh. What can we not get our supplies from... Oh, Germany. Germany, why? I'm not going to support the UK. I will support the German-led French government. I can't spare much, but I can spare a little bit. Right now we're building more civilian factories, which is great. What do we need steel for? Probably the subbies. Subbies are looking not too bad. This isn't too bad, actually. I was thinking about making them like one, like one sub per task force, which sounds like a lot of fun. Actually sounds like a ton of fun. But whatever, how long will we have to wait to go to war with the Maklik Chinese faction? There you go, the Russian Republic declared war on the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. We have about two months, which is good that they finally decided to do something, but oh my god, please don't just attack like crazy. Oh my god, no, 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 no. That is not a good idea, but, oh, they canceled their lendlease, whatever. Radar expansion, glorious. Ah, uh, construction four. Uh, rocketry, that sounds like fun. Total war. Air to ground support. So air support is essential in any successful combat operation. We must train our pilots in the ways of ground support so they may rain destruction upon our enemies. Absolutely. Look at that fuel. That looks so good. Oh wait, we have this. Actually, air destruction. Oh, uh, we do get strategic destruction and battlefield support. Uh, tactical bombers are probably the best thing that we could do though, really. That's probably the best thing we should do. But, before we do anything else, that's good. This is looking like it needs an upgrade. Because we just finished our radar stuff, so we might as well get that bonus. You declare we're on the Kingdom of Siam. Huh? Why? That's a good question. Why? Oh my goodness, this is not looking good over here. Oh, that's not looking good either. Uh, go ahead and do that then. So be it. Put you down to two. Like as many guns as possible. Yeah, they're attacking us. Uh, I would say like crazy, but they're they're definitely attacking us. If we lose that tile, so be it. Yeah. Oh, they actually. Who who owns this tile? Is that Russian? That must yeah, it must be Russian. Nice. That's actually really cool. Very very cool. Uh, what's the manpower of the Ukraine like? They're pretty split evenly between national populists, market liberals, and social democrats. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what's a manpower like of these guys? A million? That's not bad. They're on extensive conscription. That's okay. Could use more weaponry, of course. 
These guys aren't attacking. If they were, I would kind of like to help them out. Uh, you might do okay there. You might not. Just, you can hold. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, just go over there. Okay. Stay over there, then. Nice. That's Russian soil. Obviously. Good, good, good. We're getting attacked a little bit, which gives us a little bit more XP. It does hurt our... Oh my god, the guns. Is not, they're not doing well. Can I request infantry equipment? Request lend lease? They probably don't have any... Yeah. Oh. Okay. Sure. How about you guys? Can I have some gunnies? Didn't think so. Hmm. How about you guys? You probably don't have any. Yeah, that's what I thought. You guys... No, I don't want to do that. Oh, we're getting lend from them already. Awesome. There's Italy, Hellenic Republic, Romania, Hungary, Authoritarian Democrats. Did they send volunteers to them? Yeah, they did send volunteers. Wow. That is special. Oh, they're definitely trying to get us out of here. That's okay. Yeah, with... Yeah, the Japanese could give us a bunch of guns. I mean, that's awesome. That's really, really awesome. Oh, sorry, I hit my mouse accidentally. And it looks like the Russians are actually pushing on this front, which is awesome. And maybe I need to find another word that means good or great besides awesome. 1943, good, good, good. Naval doctrine, that's pretty important. Snorkels, eh, I'm going to use radar, probably. I could get that type of hull. Land doctrine's going along. Artillery, we must get better artillery. Hit these guys a little harder. Can I get another factory, though? It does not look like I can. Emergency factory con conversion. Civil crackdown. We could get more stability, but 85% is already pretty good. We don't need more chromium. Weekly war support is pretty good. Uh, air to ground support, though. Very nice. Let us grab war exercises. Any good general of planner knows that the best way for the Air Force to practice is to hold war exercises. Our enemies can appear from anywhere at any time, so we must always be ready and vigilant. My goodness, they are attacking like crazy now. And I love it. They must not have... Actually, can we see their stockpile? Oh, look at that. Mobilized economy. Great patriotic war. Well, I guess that would make sense. They are less reliable, but they can produce, produce more. Reforged economy. Modern cities. Improved education. So it's good to have your population somewhat educated. At least somewhat. Well, they got some anti-air. Some anti-tank. Post air support. Oh, uh, they canceled their lendings. That sucks. I really need that. You now click to play one to bet. Good. A little more conflict for them. It's always good. We are, they're out of infantry equipment. Nice. We are two. We're buddies. Kind of. Good. I'm After I make one more civilian factory, I will make one more military factory too after that. Uh, I could make a... I could make this, but I really need just to build stuff. Great. Free markets. I... Yeah, I guess I might as well go down to regulated markets. I need more resources. It hurts our construction speed, but... We got a th whole three more steel. Or maybe five more steel. That's so nice. We can make more uh, subs. Love it. Love it, love it. Yo, I'm going to cap you right there. All right, well, it looks like it's time for us to go to war again. Ooh, and Coast Guards. We probably don't need... Eh, well, one, 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 one. Yeah, this is pretty much what we have to do for what we have already. We get some daily army XP? No, we don't. That's okay. Wow, there's actually a lot of divisions down here. This is not going to be good. Hmm, do we really want to open up another front? I mean, they're doing well over here. What is Japan even doing? Hmm. This would cause a massive struggle, but they, they don't have any other equipment with them. Where are the Japanese soldiers? Oh, they're kind of spread out. How many soldiers does Japan have in general before I do anything crazy? Why do you have two militia battalions on your... What? What? Besides, where are you guys? Because I don't want to cause any sort of issue here with their... And we're kind of doing okay -ish. But If we don't go to war, it wouldn't be the worst thing for China. Oh, we already have logistic companies on these guys. Nice. Very, very nice. Our stockpile is 65. It's not bad. And we are just sort of grinding them out a little because they're just attacking like crazy in some locations. Oh, they're pushing into the Ukraine. That's that's really good. That's really, really cool. good. Sevastopol is there. And you sent volunteers to Japan, but not anyone else. What is it? Infrastructure or supply? Plus 4%. That's not terrible. That's doing a little better. A little better. What is 
compliance like? 40%? 36%? Yeah, garrisons. I was smart to make sure that they were cavalry. I might get armored cars to see if I can do that. Realistically, if I had open up the front now, that would just hurt our war support or our ability to wage war against the Soviets. So maybe I will we'll put a hold on that. But let's do some total war. The Great War proved that there is no longer anything outside of the bounds of warfare. Let us train our planes and bombers to target civilian targets alongside military ones that demoralize the enemies. I'm not calling for attacking civilians. Let me just put that out there. But then again, this is a total war, so... <coughs> things happen. Things happen. Cool. Not bad. Oh, man. They are... They are really trying to make Walter Kaspari very skilled. As well as, hopefully, George. Nice. Very nice. <clears throat> I mean, the towns are up here, but... I don't think we can hold back the horde of Maklik with our current template. Can I please buy another factory? I'll get some more rubber that we don't need right now. I love war bonds. Love them so much. Land forts. Yeah, there's really not much I can do with my political power. I wish there was more I could do. I could go to total mobilization. That would hurt our recruitable population factor, actually. Huh. That hurts our population factor. But it doesn't lower our popu recruitable population. Usually, it's recruitable population, and we'd only get 5% better consumer goods. And I don't want to increase my conscription yet, just because, even though we're not mobilizing, I don't want to get my construction speed hurt. Good, we're done with that. Let's grab one more military factories. One more military factories? Well, you know what I mean. Let's grab two, because we can. Oh, do that for yourself. Great. I mean, the fronts are looking fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're actually pushing in a little bit. That's really nice. Casualties. Well, I mean, I have 0% war support, which is fine. I don't really care. Happy 1942, my friends. 2 million versus 4.6. Nice. Nice. You double your... Double the enemy's casualties compared to your own. That's awesome. Let's get some improved radar so we can grab... There goes Kingdom of Siam. A very strong Britain. Uh, better guns. Oh, we actually have a surplus. Finally, we have a surplus. Love it. And the Brits might be releasing a puppet. And so I am. Nice, good stuff, good stuff, my friends. Yeah, let's we'll cap that there. Keep building this up, keep building this up, keep building this up. And keep building up a navy, because our plan is still to take out Italy. And we're going to need every single sub available. Look at this, this is looking very nice. Nationalized foreign in industries really is not worth it. Oh, yeah, we can do some light tank uh, armor speed, armor research speed, I suppose. Oh, we actually pushed, the Germans actually pushed them back here, which is awesome. Excavation 3, let us grab, we can grab that, or we can just grab some of this. More defense and breakthrough. So, yeah, we're not going to attack McLeek. It's a kind of okay idea to do that, but, you know, whatever. Oh, British Siam, disgusting. Hmm. We just don't have the divisions for it, so let's so do bombing. Our bombers must have pinpointed, or must have pinpoint accuracy in all operations, whether the targets are civilian or military. Just people. Just call them people, you know? No description of whether they're military targets, non-combat targets, you know. Then again, I guess it really doesn't matter what I say since we already made South Africa fairly special, we'll say. <laughs> Very special. Uh, yeah, attacking 60, that's a bit too much. If I attack here, I mean, these guys are not super great. How much artillery do we have? Because since we have a little bit of army XP now, we might as well duplicate this and do uh, super, super South African if. And the only reason that they're super is that they have artillery, 7-2 artillery instead of 10 regular uh, thingamabobs, 10, you know, infantry battalions. There you go. We want to make those. This costs 84 artillery, which we could probably convert one division to use that. Which I'm going to convert you to these guys. We'll gain. Actually, we'll get manpower and infantry equipment, which we really don't need, but that's okay. Nice. You can probably load this by one, but I want to make more artillery. There you go. We'll do this. There you go. Awesome. We made a military factory, maybe? Perhaps, yes. Perhaps, yes. Could you maybe help attack? 
Could that maybe turn the tide here? If you help support the attack, could you maybe help turn the tide? Oh, yeah, maybe. This is where we're going to prove our metal, prove our worth. Oh, and encirclement! Great job, guys. That's awesome. Because if the Soviet Union can collapse, then we can solely focus on Italy first. And I take everything in Africa, because the Germans don't care. And then, then we focus on the UK. Because the UK is going to be one tough... What the heck is that? That's disgusting. One tough cookie to crack. Because, I mean, it's not like my Victoria 2 run, where I played as the Russian Empire, and the UK was taking over every place besides, you know, Europe. It seems like, or South, a South America. But, uh, yeah. All of India. Good chunk of Southeast Asia. They have Australia. They have Canada. Good chunk of... Africa, which I want. Yeah, the Ukraine is done. Ah, oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Alright, you boys. You're over there. You're kind of hanging out. I don't want to put you on the front line just or any higher just because it's mostly a supply issue at this point. Alright, give you guys some planning. Great strategic bombing. Rocketry. So, experimental in nature, but inspiring in potential. Rocketry is what some call the future of warfare. It's only sensible that we get a head start on it. Absolutely. Oh, industrial planning. Yes, I'd like more output, perhaps, since I've got nothing else to do with it. Okay. Okay. So, I learned a little bit about the great game here, like, and Afghanistan was kind of the border between British Raj and the Russian Empire, Soviet Union group. Well, it looks like the UK doesn't care anymore. Uh, and they actually took Peshawar, which is kind of cool. Oh, they got full compliance there. Nice. Hold out, Afghanistan. Oh, you're using... Oh, we're using militia t divisions. Oh, God. Oh, those poor suckers. All right, so you guys are 10 combat width. Oh, you're 20 combat width. That's not bad. I'm going to throw you on the front lines up there. Because this, this will be fine right here. Two divisions are guarding near those little land pieces owned by the UK that are within our lands. You know, whatever. You guys might actually be able to push, but not really. All right, so you're not going to attack there. And you're not going to attack here. What are you going to do? A self-attack right there. You're not going to attack here either. But you will help attack there. Good. We're doing our part. Oh, they actually invaded Leningrad. Nice. Wow. Good job, Germany. Nice job. Huh. You know, just to help Japan out, we might just go to war with McLeek once the Soviet Union is destroyed. That might be an interesting thing to do. You know what? I'm tired of getting hit by this stuff, so... Come down to the port and spread out your supply use. Oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. If that's the case, you know what? Ramp it up. Ramp it up. Oh, we're getting more motorized, too. Let's see. Can I put some right there? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'll do that. There you go. Uh, metal... Mm, we're still making some subs. Hmm. Should I make these task forces, like, smaller? I'm thinking I might. So it's harder for them to get hit, perhaps. Uh, the RAF, the SAAF. Well, obviously, I gotta go with the SAAF. So, we can continue to rely upon things that the Empire has already created. The Royal Air Force is renowned for its strength and skill. The South African Air Force, however, will be far better. <laughs> of course, it will be. Cool. And let's divide this up even further. And when I say further, I'm talking about going all the way. Now, over time, as we get more subs, I might throw more in. I don't know. I just want to try it with like as few subs in each group as possible. Two degree, until I make more, of course. Let's see, you are 10 out of 10. And you are training, okay, like, very nice. Oh, now supplies definitely hit us here. Uh, you guys should, well, might be able to do well there. Maybe not, maybe. Two divisions there, probably take them out. Oh, they're getting beaten back in Leningrad, but as long as they hold the, Japanese hold the port in Leningrad. That's something I never thought I'd say. The Japanese are in Leningrad, huh. You don't say that every campaign. Come on, motorized. Come on, guns. And the Japanese are probably not going to win in Leningrad, but that's okay. Don't think anyone's really expecting them to hold it. And there goes Afghanistan. Nice. South African shipbuilding. 
Some of the best shipbuilding in the world. Oh man, the Germans are pushing. Uh, I guess the Japanese too are pushing through southern, central, central southern Soviet Union. Nice. Got some boys anti tank. Why is it boys anti tank? What do you just play around with it? For funsies? Russian Republic? Cool. Give them some extra support, boys. Very nice, my friends. Alright, anything else? Oh, to National Australia? Yeah, we might as well. During times of war, we can only have 0.55 a day. Does this help us at all? At all? 62% popularity, my friends. 62%. Wow. Can you imagine a political party having 62% popularity? Kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. Oh, God. Are the, I think... Are the Russians done? Are the Soviets completely done now? I shouldn't say Russians, because we have the Russian Republic. They might be finished here at this point, because... As far as we know, they don't have equipment. They still have some anti-tank, anti-air, but we're not using any of that. They might have a little bit of closer support, but other than that, I mean, they have no infantry equipment. Uh, oh, they're they're on all adults, sir. Wow, that's pretty bad. Just go ahead, boys. See what you can do. The Soviets are no more. So, bomber improvements. Our bombers must be outfitted for all kinds of conditions and missions. Improving their accuracy and power will be nothing but beneficial. Great. Uh, yeah, even though we're sixty-two percent popular with the people, so only 0.55. That's uh, that's okay. Good. Build up, build up. And how much rubber do we have? We have thirty-eight. That's actually not too bad. I like it. Good. George Edwin Brink, level 5 general, rider SMLE, cars. Good. Uh, actually. Hold on, I just thought of. Where is the armored cars? Huh. Does, in this At the time of this recording, I guess. Do we not have. We have kangaroo carriers. That's. Holy crap, that's really awesome. That's really, really awesome. But, uh... I guess we don't have armored cars in this mod. Huh. Beats me. That's cool, though. Hey, at least we kind of figured something out, I suppose. And the Ukrainian National Republic is gone. So let me click, 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 click. And I will give this pretty much all to Germany. Because there's no point for me to take it. I don't want... South African Ukraine might be a little bit too cursed for my uh, liking. And three... Two. Let's try it. Do I just like? And they'll figure out what they want to do with this stuff. Nice. Oh, is that it? No, oh, they have Sebastopol. Um, I mean, I could take it, but I really so see no reason why I should. Good job, guys. That's awesome. You guys did a great job. A pat on the back for everyone. Pat on the back, even though the Russian Republic might want their lands eventually. And they're probably going to release the puppet now. Kiev. Kiev. Huh. And there you go. They're back. All right. Commissariat. Ukraine. And they have the little Ukrainian flag in the top left corner. That's nice. A little less than a million manpower. They're on uh, all adult serve. They have no army, which makes absolute sense. They have some strategic bombers. Huh. Oh, what the heck? Well, regardless, it's a nice little collection to this all pack, which is looking pretty good. After this war, we're definitely going to go to war with the Pact of Rome. And actually, why do you have so many divisions here? Here. Oh, you are the 10... We, we don't need 10 of these guys here. If anything, we're surrounding those guys. I need you guys to actually come right here. And you're, you're 10 down here. So you have 12 up here, 9 down there. We have 10 over here now, hopefully guarding this area. We have 8 guarding against the Brits. Did they change their... No, they, didn't change their they did not change their flag. We got 6 around Italian... Cameroon, which is fine, whatever. Keep making that, and I do want to make some more infrastructure, but maybe not in Rwundi or Rwanda. Stanleyville. Uh, we could probably wait. Make sure... Let's see. Equatorial Africa. I mean, all these places really aren't great. Nice, and forward observers are awesome to have. Do that one. Just because that might be hurting our supply. Here. Let's grab some advanced fire bases. Good. Yeah, that'll help us with building stuff there. I'm building stuff over here, too, because... Oh, Burkina Faso. Jesus Christ. That is terrible. 
where is... Did I... I did it. Burkina Faso. There you go. Yeah, it's okay to do it like that. That's fine with me. Oh, good. Bomb improvements. And... Germany, you're going to war with the Swiss Confederation. Well, so much for Swiss neutrality. The African skies. As with the land and sea, our nation has once again conquered the skies of this continent. Let our enemies tremble and die, and die if they are foolish enough to come at us. Yes. Very nice. Now this, this, if I do this, no, let's do it again. Just because it doesn't hurt our ability to produce stuff. Sometimes with war bonds, uh, it's not really good to use because it lowers your stability eventually, which I don't really like. But so far, it's not the case. Nice. Losses. 2.1. Over 6? Nice. That's good stuff. Hey, look! An encirclement! God dang, this German AI is not the best, but it's not the worst. Uh, I mean, sure, I don't really... I don't care. That's fine. Just kill these guys off. Foreign claims. Do it to strike. Oh, is that a core state? That's a core state. God dang. And, of course, Franzisius... Franzisius... Freistadt. As that is a core state as well. Awesome. Advanced computing machine, great. Rocketry? I want to do nuclear stuff. Hmm. Planes. I've completely ignored planes because, well, I don't really have the industry for it. I don't even have the industry for tanks, which really sucks. Cool. Good job, guys. I mean, if you can do something, go ahead and do it. You can probably help them out right here, though. You guys can come there, you guys can come there, you guys can help out here, probably. It's, I think this is marshes, yeah, on Marsh Province in Novgorod. That's, yeah, it's pretty bad fighting in marshes. Pretty darn terrible, not gonna lie. But I'm gonna let you guys do what you need to do. Right now, artillery is looking good enough so that we can actually upgrade you to become a Super South African Infantry. Get a little more manpower back, get a little more guns. Nice, look at that Russian Republic. It's looking pretty nice. That's a case. Yeah, I still want to go to war with these guys. Are you still suffering? You're still suffering from attrition. Well, it's not even attrition. It's just state supply. Hmm. Look at that. That's a big old... Oh, they made it Leningrad again. Oh, that could be worse. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. Switzerland will fall. It shouldn't take too long to do that. Yeah, get Geneva to these guys. That's a lot of divisions down here. Holy cow. Service propaganda. Uh... Steel, I could get. Oh, I'm using a lot of convoys for that. I can trade away for one more steel. Why not? Nice. Let's grab one more civilian factory here, perhaps. As we continue to build ourselves up here. You guys are training. Very nice. Just throw you onto the one with three, the African skies. Let's do our own air force. So, with the reforms we have brought to the structure of our air force, we have ensured that we will have planes to be proud of and skies under our own control. Good. Civil crackdown. Ah, eh, screw it, we'll do it. Why not? Doesn't matter. Boys, anti tank rifle. We could do that. It's 1942. Naval stops. I don't have any of this stuff. Destroyer es well, escort efficiency isn't bad. Yeah, destroyer sub detection. I mean, I'll do this stuff eventually, but it's really not necessary. Enemy fleet penalty size. Not bad. Mm, let's wait a little bit, though, on that stuff. If anything, let's grab this. Magnetic detonator for more attack for our torpedoes. Oh, yeah. Moscow is almost a frontline city. That's great. Training, training, training. Still get 0.343 a day. All right. Ramp up the attacks a little higher. We might want to get to Leningrad by the end of this episode, which we should be able to get there and link up with them. How close are they to capitulating? They're not that close. They're 42% of the way there. Stalingrad, or I guess it's not Stalingrad, but it's Na Narodnigrad. Narodnigrad. Cool. Yeah. Oh, and even they're pushing down this way. That's so good. Yeah, the war against... Ooh, okay, why? UK, why? Why can't you just give this to Persia? What the heck? That's disgusting. Oh, did they do it in sequence? Oh, hello. Sure, friends. Sure. Yeah, they made it in down there. This is... 20 combat width. Great. I'm going to throw you... Where? You guys are 10. Good. I'll throw you right there. That's fine. Nice. Very nice. Oh, more compliance. It's always great. Great, great. Yeah, it's interesting that we don't have armored cars. Huh. 
Alright, so the Swiss are really not doing well right now. They are almost gone. They've lost almost 200,000 men, and the Germans have lost 100,000 to them. Not bad, not bad. Moscow is now a frontline city, as it should be. As it should be. We have Logistics 3, which might help us out. But let's grab some recon. Some better recon. Let's see, we're running out of manpower, which I don't like. How much support equipment do we have? That's not much. Ooh, we don't really have that much for motorized. That would... Ooh, yeah, we must just do cavalry attachments. Oh, great! And... Alright, so let's divide this up. RK Poland, Deutsches Reich, you get all this. Including Tessin. And you will come right there. There you go. They got a core state. And please don't release this as a puppet. Our own Air Force. Great. That's pretty much the focus tree here, guys. We're done with the focus tree. But, oh, we're not done yet. we got to go to war with these guys. But we're close enough to the end of the focus tree. And since we have really nothing else to use our political power on, we could probably use this. Construction engineering. We could produce more stuff overall. Resistance target might be good to do. Join faction research. Just... We want to build more infrastructure because Africa is, well, Africa. Moskva. Must fall. I want you to be a little bit more careful about how you do things. Because we're going to come right there. I want everyone right here. We're going to strike this way. You might be able to both do this. No. So one of you guys switch. Good. Six. All but you. Attack. Cut these guys off. You should be able to do pretty darn well here. There's only two divisions of the enemy right there. Not bad. They have a little bit of support artillery, but that shouldn't really be an issue. What is Finland up to? They should join us. They really should join us. Hmm. Factory output. Come on, stop canceling lend -lease, please. I love the lend -lease, but they'll give us the lend -lease again. Oh, that division was defeated, but whatever. Uh, once we have a deficit, we're... Oh! Okay, then, guys, why are you... Something... I don't understand. Why would you just abandon your areas like this? Like, like what the heck? In any case, I think we're pretty much done here in Asia. I'm going to move these guys back to South Africa, and then maybe move them to other parts of Europe. Go ahead and leave Asia. We'll be fine without actually being there for now. Good. Kick him out. Kick him out if you can. Help him out. Help a dude out. Good. 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 And they took God dang port. God dang it. That's exactly what we did not want them to do. All you guys. I need you to stay here. That is like the one thing that you should not have allowed them to do. Oh, I don't want to risk these guys, but we're going to do it. I'm going to try to do some naval rating up here. Repair, repair, doesn't take long for them to repair. And we'll do this. Conflict rating. Operating down here. Nope. I want you all to come to Königsberg. Ostpreußen. To Ostpreußen we go. If anything, you could probably just come right there. And you hold. Oh, the German AI, you are most definitely special. Come on, get up there, get up there. Oh, look, convoys. That's exactly what I think is best to do. And, and kill them. Oh, they didn't like that. Good, they shouldn't. Our ships aren't here yet, which is fine. Takes time to get from Africa to East Germany. Good, we killed off those divisions. That's great. Yeah, I'm not going to attack over the river there. That's a little insane. Very good, very good, very good. And the ships are here. Great. Magnetic detonators. Let's grab some of these. Electric torpedoes. We're going to make these guys extremely deadly. Do both of these areas. That'd be great. Maybe we can find some Russian guys here. Because they do have some convoys, which is nice. They're attacking us here, which is fine. Moskva is German or Russian territory now. And the capital is now Narnigrad. Narodnigrad. Very good, very good, very good. 
Oh, this is, this is going very well. With Poland gone, we just push right in. Now, this is called... Theo... Theoderichafen. Schaffen. Huh. Because I remember that from EU4, I think. There's a special... Theodoro? I think that's the little name of that. I don't know the history of Sevastopol, but that's what it looks like. Please. Please find something. Please clap. But please find something, please. Superior tactician. That's very nice, very nice. They should find something maybe eventually. Hmm. They have to get supplies in. That's, that's not a victory point at all, so. I think we're doing really well. How's the other side doing? Oh, it's doing great. Well, as great as it can be for an Asian front. Because, God, you never want to fight in Asia. Jesus. Uh, hoo, 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 hoo. Let's grab that one up. Fighter 1s. Get some Fighter 2s. We don't have that much. What is our supply like? We're doing really well in supply now. <gasps> Ooh, what do we have here? Nothing? Okay. Actually, can I upgrade this any further? Radar 1s, Radar 2s. Yeah, we can build some Radar 2s. That's fine. And we've done it. We found our first convoy and we have sunk it. Ah, uh, Guy Halifax. Good job. You're 6% of the way there towards Superior Tactician. It is what it is, you know. Oh, and they're dead. No wonder they can't find anything else. Great, get back to the front. And spread you guys out, because supply sucks. And I did already give you level 3 logistics, so you should be pretty darn good. Now, you all are down here. Um, yeah, you don't, definitely don't need that. Right click. Well, right click isn't working for some reason. Whatever. Go do that. And Coast Guards. Wait. No. Oh, please cancel. Okay, I can't cancel for some reason. Whatever. That just means I went to cap you guys. Uh, take half of that, actually. And then plop you guys over here, too. And then... Uh, actually, no. No, no. No, I'm not going to do that. What we're going to do instead, we're going to get a new general. 45 political power. Patriots de Vet. Begin. Just in case. A front against British... I don't even know what you call this. British Central East Africa? Something like that. And you guys are free to go. Well, if you know what you're doing, you guys actually might want to consider doing that. You should be able to win there. So we can encircle Leningrad and cut off any supply that might be coming through here. Because we finally have a navy that we can do stuff with. Finally. And how are we doing with this? We're building infrastructure. I love infrastructure. I love it. Radar? Uh, radar might be really good down in the Cape, actually. So if anything that passes through here, we'll probably be able to spot it. That's that's actually a pretty smart idea. Probably. Probably. Cool. Kingdom of Italy? You? No. Oh god, we're running out of things to buy steel from. <gasps> ah, there you go, my friends. Another Russian convoy goes bye-bye. Now, I don't want to attack here. Uh, well, I'm kind of forced to, because there's really no other good place there. Mm. Oh, come on, man. Yep, it's time for extraction. Extraction level 4. Wow, okay. Maybe we need to raise our manpower levels. Because even though I'm making quite a few divisions. It's unfortunate we have to hurt our construction speed, but whatever. Very good, very good. Now, we don't attack here next. Can we attack here and be successful? We probably can... Probably. That'd be great. Moskva's ours. Oh, the, the, we look over, and the Germans, and the Japanese, and all of the rest of our allies are beginning another assault. I love it. If we can, I'm trying to get it to the point where we can capitulate the Soviet Union by the end of this episode. We might be able to do that. We might not. I know we're struggling up here a little bit, which is really not ideal. I'll push them here. Yeah, you guys can, aren't, winning, aren't winning here, which is understandable. They're fighting over river with... Not great supply. Bad supply, basically. Let's see. Support companies. That's fine. Uh, you guys. Get some recon on these bad boys. You know what? Do that. How does that hurt our support company? That's not bad. You know what? Get some signal companies. I never use signal companies. I never ever use them. Oh. Oh, now you guys are doing this. Okay. I see how it is. Oh, Leningrad's the capital. Nice. Cut off Leningrad from everyone else, and this amount of supply that they get just drops like crazy. Just encircle, but do not take Leningrad. Smash the rest of the Soviet army just in case Leningrad, if we take it, will still, you know, have a lot of supply. If, if we can take... We have it encircled. Which means these guys won't be able to get nearly as much supply. 
And if we can smash the army, if we take Leningrad, and they still have it capitulated, that'll be bueno for us. And electric torpedo, yes. Let's grab this. Even more attack for torpedoes. Homing torpedo, yes, 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 yes. Good. Looking pretty awesome here. Level 3, nice. Get some more radar going there. We're just here to hold. Um, pretty much. You guys can go ahead and train. You fellas are doing great. You don't need training. You guys are doing great down here as well. You know, I'm going to send you over here too. You guys are going to help guard against Nigerian UK. It's good to be prepared, my friends. Ah, look at that. Another convoy gone and sunk. You are going to join them right there. That's fine. Eventually, I'm going to turn my divisions uh, into normal division. Ooh, that's a front. Oh, it's already taken. Nice. That's right. Oh, we're out of manpower. That's not good. Ooh, occupied territories. Civilian oversight. Great. This is looking awesome. Really, really awesome. We're out of manpower, which I don't like, which means for me, I'm going to cut these guys down a little bit. Uh, yeah, I might be able to do that, too. 5,000 manpower. At least we need some manpower in the field at all times. We have lost what? Good. 71% of the way there. They, mm, they might not capitulate just yet. How's the other front looking? It really hasn't moved that much. Let's be realistic. Ooh, they're not actually suffering from too many supply losses yet. we got 3,000 manpower in reserve. If Actually, they don't even have the oil fields. Do they have any oil down here? I mean, Persia owns that. They do have a little bit of fuel. That's not bad. Oh god, they're trying to take the, the town. Yeah, you might as well help support the attack there then. Take the capital of Leningrad. Oh, that's good to do. Industrial. Oh, there we go. Military. F oh, let's grab a civilian factory first, and then we'll grab a military factory. Hopefully. And we're out of manpower. God dang it. Uh. Oh, that's why. Right there. Nice. Another convoy. Great job, guys. It's only one convoy. It's not much. Hey, but we're becoming a seawolf. That's awesome. Gorky? Cool. Losses thus far. 70... Wow, we lost quite a few guys. 79,000? That's quite a few. But, eh, whatever. Yeah. We've done less than 171,000 casualties, which is, you know, it's okay. But now, I didn't even look at this. They are only at 78% towards capitulation. That is not ideal. Can you guys probably do well? Maybe? No? Okay. Well, yeah, let's realign you guys. I want you to be closer to the... F oh, the supply is so bad everywhere. Come here, do that, and then do that. We're still mobilizing. Yeah, we are. Uh, we probably won't be able to capitulate them in this episode, but tomorrow's episode, they will definitely, definitely fall. Before we leave for today, though, let's double-check this. Create the Soviet airborne troops. That probably won't matter, actually. They have volunteers from the UK and Hungary. Hmm. They got plenty of manpower. They don't have a lot of divisions, but that's okay. Okay, that's cool. Awesome. But that's pretty much where we're going to end today's episode. They haven't quite capitulated, but they're getting dangerously close. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode, my friends. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow as we will be fighting the UK. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.